and you shall proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all the inhabitants thereof. This is the verse on the Liberty Bell, and it's actually referring to a mitzvah in the Torah that in the 50th year, the Jubilee year, all the, the slaves must be set free. This is to be done with the sound of the shofar, a loud proclamation. The Sefer Achinuch, the book that explains all of the 613 commandments, explains that this is done because the slave owner, who was used to having the slave for so many years, may be very distraught and may feel anguish. How am I going to manage now? Especially if the slave owner is an older person and, and needed the, the help. And the proclamation out loud is to uh, I- impress upon the person who's freeing the slave, that, look, I know you're going through some anguish and difficulty, but there are many others that are going through the same issues at the same time. This concept of of sharing with people that there are others at the same time, this is a concept that today is is promoted by psychologists and social workers in in the form of group therapy um, and, and, and other ways. But this is it's a concept that was actually taught to us by the Torah. People have issues and pain, illness, and uh, are going through some difficulty, difficulty finding a job, a difficulty finding the right person, finding the right person to marry. And sometimes the person feels, I, I, everybody else seems to be okay. I'm the only one who's going through this. So there's a mitzvah. To, to help the person realize that there are others going through the same situation. It's a mitzvah that is uh, uh, promoted today by therapists, but it's actually taught to us in the Torah thousands of years ago. So anything that we can do to help someone who's going through some pain and anguish and just to, to share with them that there are others going through the same thing, that uh, it doesn't solve the problem but it helps alleviate the pain. Have a beautiful Shabbos.